everybody, how are you today? So English is not my native language. My native language is German and naturally there are still some words in English that therefore are very difficult for me to pronounce as a German and today we shall try it together. I downloaded a fabulous app which is of course going to help us. So let's see how that's going to go. So the first word is expression. Expedita. <laughs> no, I think it's expedita or expedita. So let's see what this clever app is going to have to tell us. Expedita. Expedita. And now it's going to read it slowly. Expedita. <laughs> Okay, so I believe it's expedita and believe it or not, this is the first time I heard the word being pronounced like this. So in the comments, let me know if that's correct. The next one is determined or determined or determined or determined. I don't know. Every time I use it, I just pronounce it in a different way. Um, so let's find out how it's supposed to be pronounced. You ready? Determined. Ah, determined. Read slowly. Determined. Determined. I am determined to finish this video and go to work on time. <laughs> the next one is a very common word that is very difficult for every... What? Skip this ad. The next one is a very common word that is very difficult to pronounce for everyone except for English people. The equivalent in German is Eichhörnchen. Give it a try. And I think I mastered the English word roughly, so I think it's squirrel. But of course, for many years, I would have said squivel or squirrel. 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 Bit scary. The next word should be a fairly easy one, but it's just for me, every time again, I say it differently. So it's mandatory. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Mandatory. Mandatory. It's mandatory that you have breakfast in the morning. It's mandatory that you sleep eight hours a day, right? Mandatory. Another one I find very, very difficult is rural. Rural? Rural? I think it's just because I'm German and there's loads of Ross in there. So every time I try and say it, I say, this is a very rural neighborhood, isn't it? These houses are very rural. And I'm sure that's almost close to how you're supposed to say it. Rural. Rural. It's not rural, it's rural. Rural. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> Another one I probably mastered by now, but would have found very, very difficult for many, many years is Leicester Square. So all of you know that, you know, it can be pronounced Leicester or Leicester or Le 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 Leicester Square. All of these, I'm pretty sure is Leicester Square. Let's just check my very clever app just in case. Leicester Square. Leicester Square. <laughs> you have to say it with a sass. The next one is Cornwall. <laughs> I don't know. I have no cl no clue. Like I think I figured it out a few months ago. Colonel, I think so. Colonel. Colonel. Yes. Colonel. Colonel. But because it's spelled colonel, like who's supposed to know? And the last one is one that I spoke about before, um, and it's clothes. So if I don't concentrate on it, if I just say it in a sentence like, these clothes are beautiful, then sometimes I think I say it right, but it still makes it ugh, in my throat, like clothes. So some people commented in the last video saying, just say clothes, but then it's like clothes. So let's find out. Clothes. It's impossible for a German. Clothes. 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 Yeah? No? <laughs> Leave me a comment down below which one of those did you find the most difficult to pronounce or if you're English, which one of those do you completely understand that are difficult to pronounce for a German. And you can also subscribe to my channel and follow me on loads of social media channels and you can watch a few of my other videos if you like, that would be cool. There should be one um, of how to learn English if you're foreign. Um, so maybe that's going to help you pronouncing some of the difficult words that are still difficult for me nowadays. And thank you very much for watching. I'd love to see you again next week I make a video every week and sometimes even more than that if I'm super productive and that's it thank you and goodbye